The first question, Assalamu alaikum sir, wa alaikum assalam. I am Momin from Kashmir, I am a student. I want to know that if feces are formed in our body continuously, then we are impure all the time. Where will I get the answer? But the Momin from Kashmir has asked the question that if feces are found that are formed in the body all the time, then are we not impure all the time? So what is the reply to this question? What is the meaning of the word feces? Feces is excreta and it is made up of 75% water and 25% solid. And from the solid, 30% of the solid is the dead bacteria. 30% of the solid is the undigested food, for example cellulose. 10 to 20% is the cholesterol and 10 to 20% are the organic substance like calcium phosphate etc and 2 to 3 percent are protein but basically how are the feces formed the food that we take it goes into the stomach from the stomach it goes into the small intestine small from the small intestine it goes into the large intestine then go to the rectum and all the food the the the, the ingredients what's required for the body is digested is required and the waste material is collected into the rectum. Now as far as what is impure? The feces, the excreta according to Islam is impure when it comes out of the body. Excreta means when the feces comes out of the body it is najis, it is najis, it is impure, it is a minor impurity. But when it is in the body it is not impure because the thing we eat is the food. It goes into the stomach, it is pure. It goes into the small intestine, it is pure. The large intestine, the rectum. Only when it comes out, then it is najis. And let me give an example. We all of us know, all the Muslims know, that alcohol is prohibited. Alcohol means intoxicants. And we know intoxicants are made from various foodstuff, including grapes. But the grape we have is halal. But when the grape is fermented and when it becomes converted into an intoxicant, it becomes haram. So the grape per se is halal. Only after it is fermented and after it starts intoxicating, it becomes haram. Similarly, the food that we eat is pure. The food stuff that is there in the stomach is pure. When it goes into the intestine, it is being absorbed, the food in, uh, nutrients. Then the dead bacteria is there, the waste material is there, go into the rectum. When it comes out, that is najis what comes out so only when the excreta comes out only when the feces comes out it najis only when it comes out it starts smelling when it's inside your body doesn't smell so only when it comes out it becomes najis like the moment the grape juice becomes fermented and it becomes into an intoxicant it becomes haram so similarly you should be very clear that once it comes out of the body it becomes najis and we have to clean it when we go for call of nature, we wash it and that's it. But in the body, it's not natural. This question normally comes in the mind of the human being as a vaswasa from the shaitan. The shaitan gives vaswasa trying you to deviate you and puts these questions into your mind. But I hope it's clarified now that only when it comes out of the body, it's called excreta. It's excreta of the body. Similarly with the urine, similarly when the wind which you pass out, Inside the body, no problem. Outside, it's najis. And then you have to purify yourself. Hope this answers the question.